Welcome to NEC On The Run Women's Basketball Edition. Hello everyone, I'm Ralph Ventry. I'm ready for episode number three. We have a great show planned out for you. Three weekends of Northeast Conference play in the books. As that big picture develops, let's take a look. Remaining at the forefront of the big picture, it's defending champion Robert Morris. The Colonials took care of St. Francis Hugh this past Saturday, 63-62. It was in dramatic fashion. We'll talk a little bit about that ending later in the show. But the end result, Robert Morris 5-0. St. Francis Hugh right behind in second place. Robert Morris was the first NEC team to hold the red flash under 80 points in a game. The Colonials are red hot. They've won 10 of their last 11. But now it's time to pose the question, where's Brooklyn at? The answer, they're moving up the standings. LIU Brooklyn and St. Francis Brooklyn both scored back-to-back -back victories last week. We'll tell you more about what SFBK senior Alex Delaney did in our next segment. D'Angelique Waith, another great week for LIU. Watch out, Brooklyn is moving on up. And one more team that's on the rise. Don't look now, but the Bryant Bulldogs have won three in a row. Point guard Kiara Palmer is back from injury. Mary Burke has noticed a difference in the defensive intensity of late. Bulldogs, three straight NEC victories, and they're right in the mix. We're only about 30% of the way through the conference schedule, so the big picture is subject to change. Keep your eye on it as we move along through this Northeast Conference hoop season. What does she get? She gets buckets. Briefly mentioned Alex Delaney earlier in the show, the Aussie-born seniors averaging 11 and a half points per game, that's second on the Terriers. We'll talk about St. Francis Brooklyn's leading scorer in another segment today, but as for now, the topic is Alex Delaney and she gets buckets. Last week, she victimized Mount St. Mary's for a career-high 30 points she averaged 23 points per victory last week, and she shot over 65% from the field. She's a grizzled veteran. She has an NEC championship ring. She's looking for another. She is Alex Delaney, and she gets buckets. I need a bit of a breather, so I'm calling a Twitter timeout. This week's featured tweet comes from St. Francis U head coach Joe Haig. We mentioned earlier in the show, Robert Morris and St. Francis U went down to the wire in Saturday's first place showdown. Jess Kovach scored 42 for St. Francis. They were up by six with just over two minutes to go. Robert Morris stormed back. Megan Smith with the game winning three pointer an amazing shot, a dramatic victory, and when you have two heavyweights going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Joe Haig knows that just one shot, one play, one inch can be the difference. But when the margin for error is so small, the excitement is usually high, and let's face it, folks, it's moments like these why we love sports. Let's check in on the NEC stock market and see whose value is on the rise. It's a two-part segment this week. First, we go to St. Francis, Brooklyn. We mentioned how Alex Delaney was second on the team with 11.5 points per game. Well, the team leader is another Aussie-born player. It's sophomore Jay Johnson. Johnson over 14 points per contest, and this past week, she took it to another level. 
back-to-back 21-point performances and back-to-back wins for the Terriers. She showed flashes as a freshman. She's taken the next step as a sophomore. There is no doubt that Jay Johnson's stock is on the way up. And from Brooklyn, we go across the Verrazano to Staten Island to find our other hot commodity, and that's Wagner redshirt freshman Morgan Lenahan. Lenahan has scored at least 12 points in four of five Northeast Conference games. She scored a career-high 23 a couple of weeks ago. Last Saturday, she was sidelined as she was under the weather, but she came back on Monday night and poured in 19 points, five for five from downtown. Morgan Lenahan picking up her scoring pace during NEC play, 19 points the last time out, averaging 9.9 points per game this season, and this Seahawks stock is on the way up. You know, stats amazing. Well, who has me in a state of amazement this week? It's LIU junior guard Drew Winter. She's the league leader in assist with 5.4 helpers per game. And in the last few games, her precise passing has led to plenty of buckets. Winter became the first NEC player this season to record at least 10 assists in back-to-back games. She dropped 10 dimes in LIU's visit to SFU. Then, in a win over Wagner, she dished out 12 assists. It's the first time an NEC player has had back-to-back double-digit assist games since Bryant's Kiera Palmer did it in mid-February of last season. 22 assists in two games for Drew Winter, and her assist to turnover ratio was nearly four to one during that span. And stats amazing. So we ran down the list of prime performers from last week. We gave you a glimpse at the big picture. Robert Morris is still at the top. The Bryant Bulldogs and the two Brooklyn schools are making their move. There's still plenty of basketball to be played. More specifically, nine games await between this Saturday and Monday. We'll have every game, every minute of all the action live on NEC Front Row. I'm Ralph Ventry. Thank you for watching another edition of NEC On The Run, women's basketball style. I'll see you again next week.